Let's start today's Vlogmas with a little outfit of the day. I'm kind of proud of this one. It's pretty simple. I've got, hello Roxy. I've got some Ralph, well, it's hard to see with you in the way, Roxy. Excuse me. I've got some Ralph Lauren mock croc loafers. A precious doggy companion. That's you, Roxy. Yes. And then just jeans and a green sweater and then this green quilted jacket. And of course my bag of the day, the Hermes Kelly inspired bag from Handbag Crave that I unboxed in yesterday's vlog. It's a pretty simple sort of basic kind of outfit, but sometimes I try to put outfits like that together and they don't work. And I think this one really does. I'm very happy with it. Good for me. I styled something. this morning and my foot was almost all better and I can walk again. It's a Christmas miracle. Just made the maple syrup oolong tea from yesterday from the David's Tea Advent Calendar and I haven't tasted it yet but it smells like distinctly like caramel popcorn. I'm not getting maple syrup so much which I don't mind because I'm not a fan but I do like caramel popcorn. Let's taste. Very few of these taste like the name, I'm not picking up maple syrup. Mmm. Yes, I am. It just takes a while to hit. And it's subtle and it's way on the end. Yep, there is a little maple syrup flavor in that. Not one I'd buy, but a lot of people would like it. I got an email today from Coach, and they told me about a new line that they have called the Coach and Carriage line, and I will scoot over and put a couple of pictures up here of a few of the items. I love it. They have some that are pretty classic looking, but then they have some wacky ones, like this one with the rocket. I must have this. And they've jumped into the giant rectangular tote book bag kind of game. They've got a few of those that are pretty cool. I kind of want the rocket one, but I probably won't get one because that particular bag, I just don't see being practical for me, but then watch me get it, who knows. But I really do want that little pouch. Anyway, I'm I'm telling you about it in case you don't know because you might love it too and I will link the coach website in the description below. The coach outlet also has a sale going on that started this morning. Of course I'm shooting this on Friday and by the way I'm so happy it's Friday. It's Friday evening. It's now the weekend. Ah, I have so much to do and I can get caught up and even get ahead of a few things this weekend I'm hoping. Where was I? The coach outlet's having a sale. It started this morning or yesterday morning when you're seeing this and it's going on for a few more days. Some of the things sell out fast. Some of the things were sold out when I got online at like five o'clock this morning. So if there's something you see that you really have to have, you might wanna jump on it. And the prices don't look any different from the Black Friday sales. Oh, and they have free shipping in this sale. So I will link the Coach website and the Coach outlet below. All right, I have two boxes here and I'm gonna open this top one first and then the next one because that's how you usually do it, right? Now this tiny itty bitty box here is supposed to have a sweater in it. I don't know why it's in such a small box. I feel like the sweater is gonna be very wrinkled. Here it is. By the way, when I show shots of the dogs on the ground here and you see the big mess in the background and it, like it looks like a bunch of trash, it's because it's a bunch of trash. All this stuff, I just have boxes and a little trash can that I'm throwing all my Vlogmas trash in right next to my desk and the end of the month, I'll clean it up. All right, so this is a sweater and I got it in extra large because I felt like my light gray leopard sweater that I got from them, which was large, felt like that shrunk in the wash a little bit. So I thought this might be a better fit on me. 
So I will try that on in just a minute. But first, I have this box. This is from Wantable. And Wantable is a clothing subscription box, very similar to Stitch Fix and Fashion that I've shown here before. And I ordered this the same time that I ordered the first Stitch Fix box and right after I got the Fashion order in. And that was the end of October and I'm just receiving this now on December 6th. They actually reached out to me few weeks ago and apologized for the delay. They said that they were waiting on some new clothes because I am kind of picky. And I think they were waiting on some winter items to come in to choose things for me. And after almost a month and a half had gone by, I emailed them again and said, hey, are you ever gonna send a box? And they were back and said, yeah, that they'd be sending it in a few days. And they were also having a Black Friday sale going on at that time and I asked them about that. And they said, well, your order wasn't part of that, but we'll go ahead and put that on your account. So I think if I keep a certain number of clothing items from this box, I get deeper discounts than usual. But this is how it looks. It's wrapped up in paper. I think this box has more items in it than the other ones. They had five, and I wanna say this one has seven. There we go, yeah, she put the Black Friday mailer in there. There's an envelope to send everything back. Interesting, I don't know what's happening right here yet. Oh, I think there's a bag in here. Ooh, interesting. Look, so here's how it, here's how it came. This, I'm gonna guess, is some jewelry. It says in the, on the back there's some jewelry and it has the price tag, $48. But this, that's a little clutch. Look at that. Let me show this to you real quick. So it's by Pixie Wood and it has cork on the bottom <gasps> like you find in wine bottles. And is it a zipper or a magnet? It's a magnet. Wow, that opens really big. So it's got three magnets, one in the middle and one on each end. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. I don't carry clutches very often, but I like it. All right. Let's look at the jewelry real fast too, and then we'll jump into the clothes. This is nice that they sent a little dust bag with it, with a very strong snap. Oh, I like that too. So there's the jewelry. It's a little simple gold V, little hammered metal. It says it's a 16 inch chain, and it says gold fill. Jill Maurer, what is gold fill? I feel like that's not something that I would spend $48 on. And I don't know how much that clutch is yet either, but okay, we're off to a good start here. I like both of those at least. Here is what the box looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started trying all this stuff on. I'll do the Target one first. It looks pretty good, right? It fits okay, but I'd rather it be a little bit longer. I mean, it's all right. Also, it smells like cigarette smoke. I just looked at the tag and it's $58. There's no way I'm paying anywhere near that for this top. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like the fit, and I'm not crazy about the look of it. It's too tight right across my chest there. Not a good look on me. And this shirt is also $58. No, you can get something like this at TJ Maxx for like 16. When I pulled it out, I thought it was gonna be too big, but I know some shirts are meant to look oversized. But this, I mean, that just looks kind of frumpy, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Not a good fit. A smaller size might work better for me. I like the shirt itself. It's very basic and they want $69 for it. No. They want $69 for this $5 Walmart sweater. No thank you. But here's how it looks. Next item. Ooh la la. Why is everything so disappointing? It's beautiful but then I touch it and it doesn't feel right. But okay wait a minute. I think it's a jacket, not a shirt. Yes, it is. Okay, that explains the feel. It feels really stiff. It's the gray leopard that I like, and it is a long coat. I'm gonna have to switch to my vlogging camera so you can see the whole thing once I get it on. So this is the coat. You can see how long it is here, uh, but it is quite large on the arms and up here and there's just no shape to it at all. It really needs a belt or I really need a belt to give it some shape and definition. And it's it's a pretty heavy coat. Um, it is lined, like, 
It's not heavy like it weighs so much, but it's heavy like it's very warm. They want $118 for it. Even if I liked it and it fit better, since I was able to find all those coats at like TJ Maxx and Ross for such great prices, I wouldn't buy this at this point. But if it fit better, had a better shape and all that, I'd be open to it. I do really like the gray leopard. So after trying everything on, I wouldn't keep any of the clothes. The only things that I'm kind of still interested in are that necklace and the clutch. And actually this clutch I wanted to point out is a crossbody, it has a strap inside. However, I was just thinking about keeping these two items if I got the 20% discount, but I just looked at this and you have to keep at least three to get the discount. So these would be full price and I'm not willing to pay that much for this necklace. So would I keep this? Um, I was thinking maybe, but then I opened it and I got that cigarette smell again that was on that sweater. I didn't notice it on any of the other clothes, but it is strong here. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm not going to keep an item that has a cigarette smell. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have kept this anyway. It is pretty cool and I love how big that is. Oh, here's the places where you clip the crossbody strap. I like that it has cork on it and that it's black. Um, it also has a little bit of a scratch on it here, right up front that's probably not going to come across, but maybe it would. It's, yeah, you can see it there. Everything's going back. Can't say I'm surprised with my experience with these clothing subscription boxes so far. Yeah, not having a lot of luck with these. And the prices, what's with the prices? Why are they so high? It's ridiculous. It's advent calendar time. Let's start with tea today. Hello, Roxy, right on cue. What a good girl. Door number six, right there. Ooh, silk dragon jasmine. I love jasmine tea and this sounds amazing. Delicate, smooth, and floral. Chinese green tea from, I don't know how to pronounce that, scented with jasmine flowers. Delicious. Now it's time for Sugarfina. Door number six is right there. Watermelon slices. Taste the sweet summer flavor of fresh and juicy watermelon with a delicious sour twist. I like sour gummies. I like sour gummies, but not watermelon gummies so much. Do it yourself, advent calendar time. Number six, I believe, is right here. Scrunchies! I needed some new scrunchies. I thought having some in a different colors would be nice because I only had black. Hello, Roxy, these still aren't the cookies yet. By the way, someone asked about the dog in the frame in the background. This is Ginger. She was our German Shepherd and she passed a few years ago from cancer. She had cancer in her one of her back legs. She actually passed right before Christmas. I think it was the weekend before Christmas we had to put her down. She was the sweetest, happiest dog in the whole world. Okay guys, I'm only gonna ask you this once. Are you ready for a cookie? They don't look that ready. Door number six might have to move this out of the way. <gasps> nope, remember brother gets his first today. Good boy bear. Oh, she looks, she looks like she's been cheated. Ouch, 